as I said, last couple of years, everything went fine. I was put in the best reading group, the Bluebirds. I did all my homework, everything went very well. And suddenly, we come to my fourth grade, when I meet my first nun from, perhaps, the Twilight Zone? <laughs> So to actually walk around the classroom or down the hall, she would just kind of pitch herself off balance and walk like this. And so she looked like a penguin with sciatica. <laughs> and since, since this is a Franciscan nun in the full regalia, the full garb, uh, <laughs> penguin, I'm making the reference for a real reason. Now, Sister F's big thing was music. And she had the eighth grade boys, who were the demigods of the Catholic school pantheon, carry her portable court party through the hallway. Now back then, we would stay in the same room all the time, and the teachers would move from place to place. And so she would have, have the boys carry her organ through the hallway. Another phrase I would find. <laughs> <laughs> the theater you said in the Anyway, one day she decides that all of us have to sing a solo during our music class. So we are to stand up next to our desks, straight, song books held high, and sing. Now it's been said by enlightened educators that everyone can sing, but because we are led to believe that we can't, or for some reason are told we can't, then we don't. And that's what happened to me. On this particular day, we sang a song about Bobby and Billy who were out playing when their mother called them home to dinner. The song ends with the words, Bobby, Billy, time to end your game. Burn, my man. <laughs> so on the first day of this exercise, she starts in the back of my row, and the kids behind me get up to sing. And finally, it's my turn. So I stand up, songbook in shaking hands my face red from the acute embarrassment caused by terminal shyness. I do my best not to look at the 40 or so boys and girls all sitting staring at me from around the room. I stand there and wait for what seems like an eternity, what I assume purgatory would be like. <laughs> Finally, she begins playing the introduction, and with a quick spastic nod of her head, signals me to begin. So I begin to sing in a high falsetto voice, Sounding like a medieval constructor, or perhaps a Bee Gees wannabe. <laughs> I somehow got through the whole thing. As I'm about to sit down, I glance at the kid next to me, who's sitting there pointing at me and laughing. My face turned even redder, and I sat down, totally embarrassed by my performance. And I began to cry. Now, she finished that road this day, but I should mention that this exercise was never repeated. So I was one of the few people who actually had to sing this song. So to this day, I will not sing in public. Not an alma mater, not a happy birthday, not. Over the years, I have taught a variety of classes to hundreds of students. I've attended international and national conventions where I've given presentations. I've performed in a variety of plays. I can do all those things, but I won't sing. I'm still too self-conscious for what happened on that particular day in fourth grade. And I wonder, if that nun, if she had known the effect that it would have on me, would she still have had us do it? And isn't that part of what being an educator or a parent is all about? Being aware of the impact you can have on a child and making sure that that impact is positive, caring, and nurturing. How fragile the child's ego can be and how easily you can be scarred for life. Sister F didn't know that, or she didn't care. She ruined me in that one aspect of my life. And for that, I could never, ever forgive her. Bobby. 